Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Great films reach deep into our psyche. They open our eyes to new dimensions. Teasing, tantalizing, challenging, provoking. Taking us to places that exist only in our imagination. for everybody, but seem like they are made just for us. They provoke our conscience and challenge our preconceptions. This evening, we honor the extraordinary achievements in Asia Pacific film and the stunning contribution that this vast and vibrant region has made to the rich tapestry of world cinema. The 8th Annual Asia Pacific Screen Awards comes to you from the city of Brisbane, the capital of Queensland, and Australia's new world city. Please welcome Brisbane's Lord Mayor, Graham Quirk. Good evening and welcome to the Asia Pacific Screen Awards 2014. The city of Brisbane is proud to be the permanent home of this award ceremony. And we gather tonight, just three weeks after Brisbane welcomed the world and successfully hosted the G20 Summit of Global Leaders. May I firstly, however, acknowledge the traditional owners of the land of which we gather tonight, the Turrbal and Jagera people, and pay my respects to elders both past and present. I also acknowledge all of our distinguished guests tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Asia Pacific Screen Awards reminds us that in a world of diversity, we share a common goal and a mutual desire to chart our experiences using the universal language of film. Brisbane became the permanent home and host of these awards last year, and we are very proud to stand together with the region's film industry tonight to celebrate excellence in all aspects of filmmaking. In fact, APSA does not just honour the best and brightest of our screen industry. These awards have a profound tradition of bringing attention to films that might otherwise have remained hidden, uh, depriving people worldwide of the wonderful films that exist outside of the mainstream. Brisbane unashamedly champions the Asia-Pacific region and we recognise the opportunities for all of us that comes from collaboration and shared insights. In addition to APSA, Brisbane is the founding city of the Asia Pacific City Summit, established in 1996. We are home to the very successful Asia Pacific Triennial of Contemporary Art exhibition series at the Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art. Our credentials as a rising star in the Asia-Pacific region received a further boost just a few weeks ago when we hosted the first ever global cafe as the curtain raiser to the G20. This event received great international acclaim, bringing to Brisbane thought leaders from diverse backgrounds and sectors to address critical challenges and opportunities facing our planet. As a new world city, we are equally proud of our social and cultural diversity and our willingness to embrace international visitors and students with genuine warmth. Brisbane is making a significant contribution to shaping the region's cultural and economic landscape. Our residents collectively come from more than 200 nations across the globe 
and we welcome your input to help us continue to build a city that lives by our slogan of being Australia's new world city. The Asia Pacific Screen Awards provide a unique opportunity for people to work together to meet the hopes and ambitions of our region's 4.5 billion residents. Through film, the stories they tell, the characters they reflect, the experiences they share, I believe that our region will grow closer together. We will grow in understanding of our needs, our desires, our differences, and most importantly, our aspirations for the future. Thank you for sharing our vision, and a special thank you to our presenting partner, Treasury Casino and Hotel, for their generous support of this event. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your host for this evening, Lei Chen and Aaron Pedersen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 8th Annual Asia Pacific Screen Awards, coming to you from Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. Thank you for that beautiful welcome to the country, Arnie Marich, and much respect to all your ancestors, your elders, past and present. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. It's great to be back on the APSA stage once again. Yes, if I remember correctly, you were a finalist last year, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came last. Yeah. No, you always deserve the first no, one. No, no, there's always. only ever first and last in this industry. I can't agree more. <laughs> but um, this year, I'm a, well, this year, last year I was a finalist and now I'm a co-host, so woohoo, I think I've been promoted. You have too many spaces to be promoted. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Lei Chen, returning for the fourth time as the APSA host. It's always been a great, great pleasure. Um, thank you. Um, you know, great to be back to Brisbane. And Brisbane has become something of a second home for me, especially in recent years. I feel very much a part of the APSA family and take great pride in being involved in such an important ceremony for the industry and the region. Yes, well, as you'll see tonight, the Asian Pacific film industry is in great shape and provides mm -hmm. an astounding richness of storytelling and creative innovation. Indeed. And the finalists also reflect the diversity of the Asia Pacific and the ability of great filmmakers to transcend language and culture. Well, that's right, Elaine. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also see some great acting tonight from veterans of the industry and some incredible emerging talent. And of course, we can only have finalists and winners through the hard work of the awards juries. Let's meet them now. Yeah. We would like to thank and welcome to the stage this year's Youth Animation and Documentary Jury. From the People's Republic of China, Vivian Chu. A key figure in Chinese independent film, Vivian Chu has produced award-winning films selected for Cannes, Berlin and Rotterdam, including 2014 Berlinale Golden Bear and Silver Bear winner, Black Hole Thin Ice. Her much-anticipated feature directorial debut, Trap Street, was selected for Venice Film Festival and won the Grand Jury Prize at Boston Independent Film Festival. From Switzerland, Otto Alba. An international animation specialist with decades of experience, filmmaker Otto Alda serves on juries and festival selection committees and curates programs for festivals all over the world. Since 1988, he has been a member of the UNESCO-affiliated International Animated Film Association, an international association whose goal is to promote cultural understanding through the art of animation. From Australia, Quinton Dempster AM, who is unfortunately unable to be with us this evening. 
Quinton Dempster is a broadcaster, journalist and author with extensive experience. His honours include a Walkley Award for Outstanding Contribution to Journalism, the Australian Journalists Association Gold Honour Badge and the Order of Australia for services to the media. He has chaired the Documentary Judging Panel for the Walkley Awards since its inception in 2011 and Chair of the Youth Animation and Documentary Jury from India, Neera Benegal. A true lover of the arts, Neera Benegal advocates a diverse range of artistic disciplines, including film, literature, music, architecture and design. With a long and successful career editing children's books, she currently sits on the Film Selection Committee for the Mumbai International Film Festival and the Managing Committee for the Meli Meta Music Foundation. And we would like to thank and welcome to the stage this year's International Jury. From China, Liu Ye. Oscar-nominated cinematographer and award-winning director Liu Ye is known for his collaborations with two of China's most successful filmmakers, Zhang Yimo and Feng Xiaogang. In 2013, he won the ABSA for Achievement in Cinematography for Back to 1942 and was nominated in the same category in 2010 for ABSA Best Film Winner, Aftershock. From Poland, Marcie Stur. Polish actor, comedian and presenter Marcie Stur debuted in the internationally award-winning The Decalogue by legendary Polish master Krzysztof Kieślowski. For his roles in the film's 33 Scenes from Life and The Spring to Come, he was nominated for the Polish Film Award for Best Actor, which he won for the film Aftermath. From India, Rajit Kapoor. India's Rajit Kapoor is an esteemed actor, producer and director whose extensive career has seen him work across film, television and stage and in eight languages. He's a long-time collaborator with 2013 ABSA jury president, the legendary Shyam Benegal, who directed him in his National Film Award-winning role of Mahatma Gandhi in The Making of Mahatma. From Palestine, Hiyam Abbas. Talented Palestinian actress, writer, director and ABSA winner Hiyam Abbas has starred in almost 50 films including Oscar nominated Munich, Paradise Now and The Visitor. She has worked with directors Steven Spielberg, Alejandro Gonzalez Inaritu, Jim Jamush, Iran Rickless and Hani Abu Wasad. Abbas recently directed her first feature film Inheritance selected for Venice Film Festival. From Singapore, Anthony Chen. Anthony Chen's astonishing debut feature, Ilo Ilo, garnered more than 30 awards worldwide. He won the APSA for Achievement in Directing and the prestigious Camera d'Or at Cannes and was the first Singaporean to win a feature film prize at either event. His award-winning short films have screened in competition at Berlin, Cannes and other leading international festivals. and 2014 International Jury President from Iran, Asghare Fahodi. The internationally renowned writer, director, producer, Asghare Fahodi is a three-time APSA winner and the first Iranian filmmaker ever to win an Academy Award and a Berlinale Golden Bear. Fahodi became a member of the APSA Academy in 2009 when his film About Ellie won the Jury Grand Prize and Best Screenplay Awards. A major international success, About Ellie also won the Silver Bear for Best Director at the Berlinale. In 2010, Fahodi was a recipient of the inaugural MPA APSA Academy Film Fund. The resulting film, A Separation, won the Golden Globe and Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film the APSA for Best Feature Film, and almost 50 awards internationally. Fahoudi's most recent film, The Past, premiered in official competition at the Cannes Film Festival, where actress Berenice Bajot won Best Actress, and the film was awarded the prize of the Ecumenical Jury. It was also nominated for two Asia-Pacific Screen Awards and a Golden Globe.
APSA Academy President, Legendary and Award-winning Australian actor, Dr Jack Thompson. Thank you very much. What a pleasure it is to be here. This year, the awards attracted 250 films from 42 countries and areas, emphasizing the status of the APSAs as the region's highest accolade in film and an extremely important platform for filmmakers and, of course, industry leaders in the world of film and television to showcase their work. Tonight, we honor 36 truly exceptional films from 21 Asia Pacific countries and areas. I would like to welcome to the stage the newest members of our APSA Academy whom we inducted today, our nominees, writers, directors, producers, cinematographers, actors and actresses, representing an extraordinary range. India, Iraq, Iraqi Kurdistan, the Islamic Republic of Iran, Israel, Japan, Jordan, Kazakhstan, our neighbor, New Zealand, People's Republic of China and Hong Kong, the Philippines, Qatar, Republic of Korea, the Russian Federation, Singapore, Sri Lanka, the Syrian Arab Republic, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, and of course, my home country, Australia. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth annual APSA Awards. These are the nominees. Good luck to you all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look to the screens as we pay tribute to the work of these extraordinary talented men and women and pay homage to the extraordinary films 
nominated tonight. Thank you. And now, a message from APSA's patron, Mr. Kim Dong-ho. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in its eighth year, the Asian Pacific Screen Award continues to grow under the chairmanship of Michael Hawkins. My new role as the chairman of the a presidential committee for cultural enrichment. I enable to be with you tonight in Brisbane. So uh, I would like to take an opportunity to congratulate to uh, 2014 nominees. Due to your great contributions and achievements, the film industry of uh, the Pacific, the Asian Pacific region uh, has seen a remarkable growth this year. It's my great honor and proud of to be the patron of Asian Pacific Screen Awards. I'm confident that uh, you will be another great success in your future. Thank you. Our first award for the night is for Best Documentary Feature Film. Here to present the eighth annual APSA Award for Best Documentary Feature Film is Youth, Animation and Documentary Jury Member, Otto Older.
documentaries from Asia Pacific region tend to bring alive customs, traditions, political machinations that often are little known in other parts of the globe. They provide remarkable access into astounding experiences of real people in extraordinary circumstances. The nominees for the eighth annual APSA for Best Documentary Feature Film are From Iraq, 1001 Apples, a survivor of the Al Anfal Kurdish genocide, makes a heart rendering and personal pilgrimage of forgiveness to Kurdistan with a magnanimous and symbolic gesture of peace and reconciliation. Sadly, filmmaker Taha Karimi passed away following production. From India, Badesia in Bombay, a vibrant story of struggling migrants on the outskirts of Mumbai that pulsates with their lyrical and sexually charged musical culture. From Republic of Korea, Sander, surviving. An incisive examination of labour rights, chronicling the daily lives of a group of middle-aged workers who are subject to extreme corporate bullying, yet categorically refuse to deny themselves a joyful life. <laughs> From Syrian Arab Republic and France, Silvered Water, Syria self-portrait, a technologically groundbreaking account of the atrocities of civil war using an unprecedented approach. More than 1,000 eyewitness accounts recorded on mobile phones. From Singapore, Wu Khan, the flame of democracy. A passionate uprising by villagers in rural China sparks radical change and heralds the arrival of an entirely new political system, democracy. And the APSA goes to 1001 apples from Iraq. Written, directed and produced by Taha Karim. Sadly, um, it seemed that everybody loved it, but sadly, Taha Karimi passed away last year. His passing has deprived the world of an outstanding filmmaker and remarkable individual. So this award will be accepted by Taha's brother, Hari Karimi, who has made a journey from Iraq to be with us tonight. Welcome. Thank you. Really, it's an honor to be winner of APSA. May my brother is not here physically, but I'm sure he's with us. He's with us, and he's so happy. So I want to say, as my brother said every time, and it's a message of 1001 Apple, we are passer in this world. So please, let we love each other. Let we accept differences. Let we listen to each other. On behalf of my brother, I want to dedicate this award to my lovely parents who lost two sons during the one year. And now, they are strongly going on, really strong. Thank you very much. Thank you. I believe um, all of us will give our best wishes to um, their family, their parents, and I believe they will be well loved. Okay, now let's have a look at a scene from the winning documentary. <laughs> Mole! Mole! 
Ah bah qui le veut mon Léa Salam alaikum. Tu as une cassette à un vote, Vina Si. Si Our next award celebrates Asia Pacific's best youth feature film of 2014. And this award recognizes films aimed at a young audience, providing a unique perspective and the vitality of emerging generations across the region. Over the years, this category has captivated us with its raw energy and some innovative approaches to storytelling. And to present this award, please welcome to the stage Youth Animation and Documentary Jury Chair Nira Benegal and Youth Animation and Documentary Jury Member Vivian Chu, producer of the Berlin International Film Festival Golden and Silver Bear winner, Black Coal Thing Nights. Nice. Let's welcome. Thank you, Lei. It is said that youth is a time of adventure and awakening, when caution is abandoned in search of new horizons. Films aimed at young people often assume these characteristics. The nominees for the eighth annual APSA for Best Youth Feature Film are... From Australia, 52 Tuesdays. Filmed over the course of a year, once a week, every week, and only on Tuesdays, 52 Tuesdays is an emotionally charged story of desire, responsibility, and transformation. <laughs> From Russian Federation, Corrections Class, a provocative and confronting story of a disabled Russian teenager on the cusp of womanhood whose physical impairment sees her shunned and alienated by her school and society. From Turkey, Sivas. In a harsh and austere setting, this unsentimental drama about a young boy and his imposing fighting dog is a visceral and raw coming-of-age story. From India, The Force, a charismatic and enchanting story of a young boy struggling to reconcile the loss of his father and settle into a new life in a small village. From Jordan, Qatar, United Arab Emirates and the United Kingdom, Seed. Building on thousands of years of Bedouin oral storytelling tradition, this classic adventure tale of brotherhood, bandits and betrayal sees a nomadic desert society on the verge of immense change. What the? Not the hell. I don't know what I'm talking about. And the APSA goes to Sivas from Turkey and Germany. Produced by Yasin Mushtaki. Co-produced by Nesra Gubuz and Peter Martin. Written and directed by Khan Mushtaji. Please welcome Khan Mushtaji to the stage to accept the award on behalf of the producers. Uh, thank you very much. I want to say something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, dear jury, their members of APSA and this, their Australia. Thank you for giving for me for this award. Thank you very, very much. And to your hospitality, I feel very uh, welcomed. First, I want to decide this award to the good, hearted Under Chakar, who is injured in Kobani, where he went to support the humanity. Uh, second, also, also uh, to Reza Berati, who lost his life in the PNG writes, and to Hamid Kahazai, who was in the left to die in PNG. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Congratulations, and now let's see a clip from this winning film. It's lovely, isn't it? The Arts Academy Children's Film Fund was launched in 2011 through a partnership between APSA and Four Boys Films from Manila, established by Filipino film producer and APSA Academy member Butch Jimenez. We thank Butch Jimenez and Four Boys Films for their continued support. And tonight, in awarding the APSA Academy Children's Film Fund, we will be giving two $20,000 grants to two APSA Academy members. These grants are given to develop scripts about the children of the Asia-Pacific region that are positive and life-affirming. They are based on a belief that children are a crucial link in the bridging of cultural and social divides and in driving generational changes in attitudes and behaviors. So now I would like to invite the Chair of Children's Film Fund and APS Academy member, Anne Demi Giroux, and APS Academy member and film producer, Rupert Lloyd, to announce the 2014 recipients of the APSA Children's Film Fund. Let's welcome. Good evening. The 200, 2014 APSA Academy Children's Film Fund winners are Australia's Andrew Pike for Boomer, a touching but unsentimental coming of age tale about the bonding of two misfits from different classes. Our second winner is Shilpa Renade from India from, for A Man from Kabul, an imaginative and visually exciting update, a much loved story by India's Renaissance man and Nobel Prize winner Ravindrane Tagore to make big socio-political ideas digestible for a young audience globally. Congratulations to both our winners. Thank you, Rupert and Anne. In 2010, the Asia Pacific Screen Awards and the Motion Picture Association joined forces to create a development fund called the MPA APSA Academy Film Fund. Please welcome President and Managing Director of the Motion Picture Association, Asia Pacific, Mr. Mike Ellis, and Chair of the MPA APSA Academy Film Fund panel, Mr. Andrew Pike, to announce this year's projects. And congratulations, Andrew, on receiving an APSA Academy Child Children's Film Fund grant. Well, thank you, Aaron. The MPA highly values its close association with the Asia Pacific Screen Awards and is proud to support some of the region's leading filmmakers through this development fund. The concept of the fund was championed by APSA founding chair, Des Power. It was designed to provide assistance for projects in the development phase of the film process. In the last four years, 360 film projects from the APSA Academy members across the Asia Pacific have been submitted to this fund. From Turkey to Australia and New Zealand to Russia, grants have been awarded to projects throughout this great inspirational region. Tonight, a further $100,000 will be awarded to four deserving APSA Academy members to help them bring their individual stories to international screens. This scheme has helped to create some incredible films since it began, including a separation by Asghar Fahadi from the Islamic Republic of Iran, which went on to receive, as we've heard, more than 50 awards, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. 
Tonight, we are here to support another four well-deserving Academy members with new projects. And our first recipient is Draw Murray from Israel for Corridors of Power. <clears throat> Draw was a 2013 APSA nominee for Best Documentary for the Gatekeepers. His new, his new film is a bold and confronting examination of how the world's political leaders have responded to reports of mass killings and genocide around the world in recent decades. Our second recipient is on screen off record by Denmark's Simbjörn Sorensen, who produced APSA winner for the best documentary of the act of killing in 2013. Her new film is a provocative documentary about the citizen journalist movement in Syria. This film will tell the story of this movement and provides a context for their stories and images. Please also congratulate Mustafa Sawa Farouki from Bangladesh. for his dark satirical drama, No Land's Man. Faruqi is a leading figure in the emerging Bangladeshi cinema and won an APSA Grand Jury Prize for his previous feature, Television. His new film examines the plight of a man from a religious minority who is persecuted in his home country but does not escape prejudice and hostility when he goes overseas. The final recipient, is Flower, submitted by Jaffa Panahi from the <laughs> from the Islamic Republic of Iran on behalf of his son, director Pana Panahi. Flower explores the turmoil created by a father's conviction that he must kill his disabled son to bring peace to his family. This challenging drama is drawn from real life and brings home the plight of people with disabilities in Iran. This film will be directed by Jafar's son, Pana, who is an emerging director of distinction and shares his father's humanist concerns. So congratulations to all of the four grant recipients. Thank you very much, Micah and Andrew, and congratulations to all of our Film Found recipients. Next, we move into the world of animation. Animation is one of the fastest growing area of the international screen industry with an estimated global value of more than $250 billion in 2013. It attracts some of our most creative and innovative minds. Here to present the eighth annual APSA for Best Animated Feature is Vice President and recent head of the Animation Department of the prestigious Beijing Film Academy, Professor Sun Li Jun. Let's welcome. Well, please excuse my uh, very, very not well English, so I have to use um, the MC as the interpreter. So, I want to welcome the Blitz Band to the Blitz Band. I hope that the winners of today will have a award. Well, um, I feel so excited to be here in Brisbane, this beautiful, very beautiful, good city. And I hope that all the nominees here today will gain awards back home. Okay, now let's see. The nominees for the eighth annual Ibs Award for Best Animated Feature Film are... From People's Republic of China, Frog Kingdom, a story of a betrothed frog princess. It is the first feature film from the innovative Vixo Animation Studio at the Jilin Animation Institute, the largest of its kind in the world. From Australia and Germany, Maya, the Bee Movie, the beloved story of a young bee who sets out to experience the pure wonder of the world around her. Beautiful. <coughs> Ooh. 
from Republic of Korea on the white planet, both expressive and violent. This personal story chronicles the young life of a persecuted boy who deeply yearns for a normal life. From Republic of Korea, the satellite girl and milk cow. An entertaining story of an unlikely friendship between a girl and a musician that takes on many forms in this touching exploration of the human heart. From Japan's renowned Studio Ghibli, the tale of the Princess Kaguya, the story of a tiny girl found in a stalk of bamboo, is one of Japan's oldest and best-known folk tales. And the answer goes to... Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> my right. English is okay. not, not good, okay. but I will do my best. Thank you. And the APSA goes to from uh, Japan. Japan, the tale, the tale of the princess, of the princess uh, Kaguya. Kaguya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Directed by Isa Takahata. Written by Iza Takahata and Riko Sakaguchi. Here to accept the award on behalf of the producer is the Australian and New Zealand distributor and founder of Madman Entertainment, Paul Wegard. On behalf of the entire Madman Entertainment team, we humbly and thankfully accept this award on behalf of Takahata san, Nishimura san, and all our friends at Studio Ghibli. Our thanks also to the APSA. Committee for recognising this wonderful, beautiful and culturally rich film. We are sure the award will contribute to an even wider viewership and deeper understanding of all the works from Studio Ghibli. Thank you. I thought you would not have your prize back. Anyway, thank you. Um, let's have a look at a clip from the winning film. The princess is so lovely, so cute. All right, now we have a very special treat. In this next performance, Australian producer Chris Latham will draw on local Australian and international talent to deliver a mystical version of a traditional Turkish folk song, Ada Shalileri. Local lyrics, Brano, Aisha, Kuk Nushanel, together with Ney player and Dao player, Masadafa Kalami, and the Turkish pianist, Selim Atakan, have been brought together in a piece to celebrate 100 years of Turkish cinema and as a prelude to the commemoration of the arrival of the Anzacs on the west coast of Gallipoli.
Well, wasn't that beautiful? Uh, beautiful round of applause. Absolutely. Incredible. So, Leigh, this is your fourth time hosting the award. What keeps you coming back? I mean, to Brisbane for the absence. I'm guessing it's not just a chance to be hosting and co-hosting with me tonight. Well, you know, you must be the reason. And as much as it is very exciting to be sharing the stage with a great Austrian actor, isn't it? Mm. Isn't she, is he great, right? Of course, there are some other reasons. Every year, I'm moved by the capacity of the ceremony to leave us in all of the extraordinary talents in this region. The Absas are still young, but I believe the awards have ignited something powerful that should be fostered and supported. I think there would be few others in this room who would agree with you. The mm -hmm. Absas have also remained wonderfully unpretentious, just like having you here tonight. <laughs> There's no red carpet, it's black, as it should uh, be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great films are the product of great narrative and the ability to bring together words that invoke powerful images and emotions. Mm -hmm. And here to present the eighth annual APSA for best screenplay is international jury member from India, stage director, producer and actor, Jajit Kabul. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Leigh. Great writing is always at the heart of any great film. French film director Robert Bresson said, the most ordinary word when put into its place suddenly acquires brilliance, and that is the brilliance with which your images must shine. We, as members of the international jury, 
found this particular category to be the most difficult one. And we spent a lot of time deliberating on, on this to choose from the five nominees. However, we felt that because screenplay writing and script writing forms the very fulcrum and basis of a film, screenplay writing in the Asia-Pacific region still requires a lot more focus and attention to be given to it. And the nominees for the eighth annual APSA for Best Screenplay are Multi-award winning Sri Lankan writer-director Prasanna Jayakoti for 28, which won the NetPak Award at Rotterdam International Film Festival. <laughs> For Angels of Revolution, Russian powerhouse writer-director Alexei Fedorchenko, author and APSA-winning screenwriter Denise Arsorkin, and theatre creative Alek Layevsky. Winner of the Stockholm Film Festival Script Award, Iranian writer-director Nima Javidi, for drama Melbourne recently awarded Best Film at Cairo. From Iraqi Kurdistan, previous APSA nominee, writer, director, Shorkat Amin Korki, and award-winning writer and producer, Mehmet Arktis, for Memories on Stone. Mama found it doesn't matter if you're a shiny as his cat. I didn't want him, I'm not, I'm not tanky. Haskiriote, Haskiriote. Award winning Filipino screenwriter Giancarlo Abraham for his directorial debut, Sparks. Winner of Best Director and Screenplay in Cinemalaya's New Breed. As if we had to dance in the middle of rainfall in summer, between April and June. And the APSA goes to jury, should we tell them? Nima Javidi for Melbourne from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Produced by Javad Meruz Begu. Written and directed by Nima Javidi. Please welcome writer and director Nima Javidi to the stage to accept the award. This is a very important award for me because I'm getting, receiving this from my uh, film script. I'm very happy because I feel I'm very lucky because I still can um, dream like a seven years old a kid and part of this script is owns these dreams that I can still stick to it. Uh, Thank you Asia Pacific. Congratulations and now let's have a look at the clip from the winning film. The great cinematographers can deconstruct a simple image into a complex mix of beauty, color, hidden emotion, and symbolism. They are some of our greatest narrators. To present the 8th Annual APSA for Achievement in Cinematography, please welcome international jury member and the renowned Chinese cinematographer, Liu Ye. Uh, 
一部好的电影摄影作品，呃，它可以颠覆我们对生活的习惯看法，呃，同时它也可以拓展我们想象力的空间。Well, you know,、um, although、um, director tried、um, many times, but we decided to translate for him. So it's said that、uh, brilliant cinematography can push us past the previous items of our imaginations and subvert our sense of reality. Today, evening, the eighth Asian Film Festival Golden Globe Award nominees are five. Okay, tonight's nominees for the eighth annual APSA for Achievement in Cinematography are. Cinematographer Dong Jing Song's third collaboration with director Diao Yinan, Black Hole Thin Ice, won the Golden Bear at this year's Berlin International Film Festival. Winner of the Berlin Alley Silver Bear for Outstanding Contribution, Camera for Blind Massage, Zhang Jian. Give us a call, ah, we'll be together. Shah Zhongqi, ha ha ha, ah. Ah, face to face, ah, ah, ready, one, two, three, Shah Zhongqi. Winner of multiple Russian and international awards for his collaborations with Russian auteurs Andrei Zbiakinsev and Alexei Ferichenko, Mikhail Krichman, for Leviathan. Не надо никого прошибать. Нежно так, ласково потрогаем за эти самые фаберже и все. Кто мне слабо верится в эти нежности? Молотком его надо. Levan Kapanadze for the multi-award-winning Russian film Test. Including best cinematography at Kinatava Sochi and two prizes in Tokyo. <laughs> Jurgen Bechtaral Iyev's feature film cinematography debut, The Owners, premiered in special screenings at the Cannes Film Festival this year. <laughs> And the, the APSA goes to Dong Jin Song for the black hole in eyes from Hapi of China and Hong Kong. Produced by Zhang Daji. Thank you for the film. In the process of shooting, the cold air of the film 给我的生命中的那个记忆，和让我的生命中有这一段美好的旅程。During the shooting of the film, we actually experienced a very cold and hungry winter, but it has been very memorable for me. 谢谢。Thank you. Let's have a look at a clip from the winning film. Your wife, right? Three men, come on. Hey! Since APSA's beginnings, the FIAPFA award has been presented by founding partner, the Paris-based International Federation of Film Producers Associations, which represents the interests of screen producers globally. The FIAPFA award is given annually by the producers of the international film community in recognition of outstanding achievement in film in the Asia Pacific. Here tonight to present the award is APSA Academy winner, chair of the Turkish Producers Association, and acclaimed producer of this year's Palm Door winning film, Winter Sleep, 
Zainet Osbatur Atakan. Hello. As the global representative of the international film producers community, FIAF is very proud to celebrate a respected member of the Australian film industry, producer Emil Sherman. Emil is an Asia-Pacific-based producer with a truly international outlook. Tonight, it's an honor to present Emil with the FIAF Award for outstanding achievement in film in the Asia-Pacific region. Okay, look at Emil. Okay. Producer Emil Sherman has had an enormous impact on the film industry, contributing a diverse and acclaimed body of work in a relatively short period of time. His earlier productions include Australian independent feature Candy, nominated for the Berlinale's Golden Bear, award-winning adaptation of J.M. Kurtz's novel, Disgrace, and the first ever Australian-Israeli co-production, $9.99. In 2008, Sherman began the international production company Seesaw Films, together with British producer Ian Canning. Their 2008 film, The King's Speech, saw Sherman become the second Australian producer ever to win the Best Feature Film Academy Award. Throughout his career, Sherman has shown a talent for producing incredible true stories like child migrant drama Oranges and Sunshine, epic desert adventure tracks, and upcoming Indian-Australian journey Lion. His other recent productions include Steve McQueen's Shame, Jane Campion's Top of the Lake, and the upcoming Macbeth, starring Marianne Cotillard and Michael Fassbender. Demonstrating a quality shared by the world's leading producers, Sherman supports the careers of upcoming talent, including the now Oscar-winning directors Tom Hooper and Steve McQueen. Sherman further supports the growth of the local industry as a co-founder of film and television finance company Fulcrum Media. It is with great pleasure that Fiat honours this young and dynamic producer with the 2014 APSA Fiat Award and welcomes him to the Fiat Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, Emily cannot hear tonight and accepting the award on his behalf is Matthew Diener, Executive Director of Screen Producers Australia. On behalf of uh, Screen Producers Australia and the talented Australian producing community, um, I have great pleasure in accepting this on Emil's behalf. Emil is, is genuinely devastated he can't be here tonight. He is uh, deeply honoured by this award and he uh, sent a message of support for tonight and, and a thank you for you all. Okay. Emily has also recorded this message. Let's go. Thank you so much, Sina. And thanks, Matthew, for collecting the award on my behalf. I'm so sorry not to be able to be there this evening in person. This is such a, such a huge honour, and I'd like to thank the executive committee of FIAP and uh, the president of FIAP, uh, Luis Alberto Scalela, for this uh, award. I feel so privileged to have the opportunity to make films. Still, each time we raise the finance and move a film into production, it, it feels like a, a bit of a minor miracle. Uh, films, films are not cheap. I, I remember showing an early comedy to a friend of a friend who, who, after watching it, said, you should be ashamed of yourself. Can you imagine the number of people's lives you could have saved with this amount of money? It's always a challenge for, for the arts to justify its existence, particularly when, when govern, government subsidy is involved. Uh, but for, for me, um, our ethical obligation is really to tell the truth, to uh, explore the, the human condition in its... Uh, in its complexity, and, and that's enough. And it's a real joy to be part of this, uh, this, this grand endeavor uh, and in the, the wonderful industry that is the film industry. I'd like to uh, accept this award on behalf of my partner in Seesaw Films, Ian Canning, as well. Uh, he's the C to my saw. And also the, uh, the incredible team we've built up at Seesaw across Australia and the UK. We really have a wonderful team uh, who are so devoted to, to the work that we try to, to make. Um, 
this is very much a group effort and like and on that note really at the center of it are the incredibly talented directors writers uh, cast and crew that we have the privilege to work with and i'd like to thank them uh, we as producers are really only here to enable them finally i'd like to thank my wife caroline uh, for for her love and support over the years she's uh, enjoyed wearing some nice frocks at many red carpet events, but no doubt, uh, you know, it's unusual the life of a, of a film producer um, and, and, and our sort of working, uh, working environment and working style. So thank you, Carrie. Uh, thank you so much for this award. Thank you, Zinup, and uh, congratulations, Emil. Five captivating women from across Asia Pacific are competing tonight for best performance by an actress. To present the award for best performance by an actress, please welcome international jury member from Palestine, the internationally acclaimed and award-winning actress, writer and director, Hiam Abbas. Bonsoir, Mr. Khair. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Um, great actresses have, a, have an entrancing ability to transform into beautiful personages, I mean characters, with a real authenticity. Tonight's nominees for best performance by an actress are Winner of three Israeli Academy Awards, Queen of the Screen, Ornit Alkabetz, for Get, the trial of Vivian Amsalem, which she co-wrote and directed. Filipino screen legend, star of almost 200 films and winner of the 2012 APSA 4 Best Actress, Nora Alnor for justice. <laughs> Chinese stage star for over 50 years, Lu Zhong for Red Amnesia. Remarkably, her first lead role in a feature film. Rising superstar, sought after on the international scene from China, Tang Wei, for the golden era. <laughs> Having appeared previously in three ABSA nominated films, award winning Iranian actress Merila Zarayi for track 143. This year, the jury has awarded special mention in this category, and the special mention goes to Mirela Zarei. Produced by Abuza Ul Muhammad. Or track Hassan 143 written and directed from by the Marvel's Islamic Obia. Republic of Iran. Mary Lazara e to the stage to accept the award. Hello. I'm very excited. I'd like to thank the jury. I'm very happy to receive this award. I'm an Iranian. Iran is a vast, rich country of the heart, in the heart of Asia, with peace-loving people, rich not for its oil, but 
for the patient mothers who sacrifice their children and their husbands to defend their country in an unequal eight-year war. I would like to, to rise and applaud in honor of all those mothers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Farhadi. And now the APSA for best performance by an actress goes to Are you there? Lu Dong for Red Amnesia from the Repu People's Republic of China. Produced by Liang Xin, co produced by Xu Lin, Lia Zhu, Zhang Yao, and Isabel Glasher. Directed by Wang Xiaoshuang, written by Wang Xiaoshuang, Fang Lai, and Li Bao. Please welcome actress Lu Chong to the stage to accept the award. 看来我这个奖项得的真不容易，我更要珍惜它。It seems not easy for me to get this award, so I should really cherish it. 非常高兴得到这份荣誉。Very happy and honored to receive this award. 谢谢，谢谢评委会对我的肯定和信任。Thank the EPSA jury for your recognition. 其实这个奖项不是我一个人的，它应该属于闯入者、摄制组、全体成员、我们的团队。I cannot claim the credit alone to this award. It actually belongs to the whole cast and crew of the film. 谢谢我的导演王小帅给了我这样一次机会。I want to say thank you to the director, Ms. Wang Xiaoshui, for giving me this great opportunity. 能够让我和我的团队们共同合作。So that I can work with this great team. 荣誉属于大家,属于我的团队,属于我的朋友们。so this honor belongs to all of them, to the whole team, and to all my friends. 谢谢大家,谢谢. Thank you so much. Congratulations. It's been great pleasure, and my mom is a big fan. Well, let's have a look at the absa winning performance. Who are you? What? What? I don't. I not I don't. 有什么声音呢？呼吸啊，走路啊什么的，有时候能听见人喘气儿，呼哧呼哧的。Congratulations to the winners. Um, thank you, Hyang. If you could stay with us, uh, we now have to move to the presentation for the best performance by an actor. Tonight's nominees represent a rich array of talent and performance styles. Lucius Anais Seneca said, life was like a play. It was not the duration that matters, but the excellence of the acting. Tonight, we honor five amazing actors. The nominees for the eighth annual APSA for best performance by an actor, careful, are... Over 20 years in the industry, starring in some of Sri Lanka's most celebrated films, Mahendra Pereira, for 28. <laughs> 
Silver Bear winner from this year's Berlin International Film Festival for his performance in Black Hole Thin Ice, China's Lao Fun. Iconic Indigenous Australian actor David Gulpalil for his Cannes award-winning performance in Charlie's Country, which he also co-wrote. <laughs> Prolific star of stage, Naveed Mohammad Zadeh for his debut feature lead in the controversial Iranian film, I'm Not Angry. <laughs> Producer of some of New Zealand's most successful films, actor Cliff Curtis physically transformed for his role in The Dark Horse. I want to lead you all for the National Chess Championships up in Auckland in six weeks' time. <sighs> this year, the jury has again awarded a special mention in this category. And the special mention goes to David Galpilel, from Charlie's country, from Australia. Produced by Mills Eric Nielsen, Peter DeGuer, and Rolf Dehia. Directed by Rolf Dehia. Written by Rolf Dehia and David Galpalu. Please welcome actor David Galpalu to the stage to accept the award. Thank you. For this. My name is David Corporal. I started the movie industry, The Fox Walkabout, directed by Nicholas Ross. It's a way back. And now I'm here because I came from Bush and I'm here. I came from Arnhem Land. So there are many movies and televisions and wherever I went around with my culture, I perform in Japan, Osaka. I went to China and that was for my acting too. I met Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris and that was in Rome. Oh yes, uh, you were there, Rolf. We got the goal. Rob, we work really hard with my cameraman, Ian Jones, and my director, they support me. For this, I came especially to thank to my, my agency, my director, and my cameraman for this. It's a true story about me. That I came to the Western world, I became an alcoholic, drug addict. I couldn't leave the cigarette. I couldn't leave the sugar. I, I couldn't stop eating a sugar cane. So I quit. Everything that you brought here to the Western world in Australia. I'd done all that, red carpet and caviar and biscuit caviar. I'd done all that. Good fun. Cannes Film Festival, Los Angeles, wherever I went. But amongst that, I wanted to thank to the Australian people that they saw me from the beginning of it. I'm 61 years old now. But I'm still battling, and I was nearly died. I went to prison every day. Now I quit. Because it's, 
alcohol and cigarette kill my body of universe. So I quit everything, so I'm going back to bush, reverse. It's hard to find a track, but I do, because I'm a hunter. Thank you, Ralph. My agent, my agent, and my cameraman. Thank you. I'm so good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so good. Thank you very much. And now the APSA for best performance by an actor goes to Cliff Curtis from The Dark Horse from New Zealand. Produced by Tom Hay, written and directed by James Napier Robertson. Please welcome actor Cliff Curtis to the stage to accept the award. He's so different. <laughs> You're charming. Um, thank you, David, for that That's fantastic speech. I wanted to speech. give it to you. <laughs> I just wanted to acknowledge David. <laughs> David and our other fellow nominees. Um, it's an honor to share the stage with uh, all of you wonderful storytellers, filmmakers. Uh, it's, a, it's a collaboration. Uh, thank you to the jury, to APSA. Um, I'm here because of a, story, a true story about Genesis Portini, so I want to thank him first and foremost and his family, Nat, his son, Norpeter, uh, and uh, our wonderful uh, team led by our writer, director, who also edited, James Napier-Robertson, and our producer, Tom Hearn. Uh, and I can't really uh, uh, say enough thanks to our cast and crew, but most of all for me personally, my wife, and. Uh, children who lived with me as this character for a number of months. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you want, I can stay. You're going to stay, are you? Let's have a look at the APSA winning performance. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a pawn or a king or a queen or a knight or a bishop, you're all welcome to play on this board. Come on, I, I can teach you a thing or two. Don't be frightened of me. <laughs> I'm not going to bite you. Look, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful to learn, learning day. We can all learn, can't we? Every day is a learning day. Come on, come down here. here. Come up here. You want to win the game? Hey, what's your name? You want to bet? Oh. You've a list too. Come on. Doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, who you are, where you're from. It doesn't really matter what they tell you. Well, um, thank you so much, Yuham. Um, it's been really great fun to have you on the stage. And congratulations to the winners. Achievement in directing is an extremely prestigious and hotly contested award. Here to present the eighth annual APSA for Achievement in Directing is the winner of this category from last year's APSAs. And he has the same family name with me, although we are not brother and sisters. But please welcome international jury member from Singapore, Writer, director, Anthony Chen. That's another great reason to be back at the Absas again, meeting old friends. Um, really, really honored to be back here, especially after winning the award last year. I'm so proud to say that the nominees in the achievement in directing category this year once again show that some of the best directors working today in the world are from the Asia-Pacific region. They display in their work immaculate precision, a unique voice, and uncompromising vision. So let us look at the nominees for directing this year. <laughs> from Australia, renowned award-winning director, how Ralph De Heer for Charlie's Country, food. his third it's collaboration with nominated actor David Galpalil. Who owns this? Me. That's mine. And the other one was mine. You got purchase permits for him? Well, you see, I Recipient of an APSA high commendation for directing, 
controversial Russian maverick, Andrei Zvyakintsev, for Leviathan. A giant of Korean cinema with over 100 films to his name, Im Kwon Tech for Uvivra. A matriarch of Iranian cinema and winner of the inaugural APSA for Achievement in Directing, Rakshan Bani Itamord for Tales. <laughs> winner of two APSAs for Directing, Master Craftsman, Nure Bilge Jelan for Winter Sleep. Ama sen çekilmez bir adamsın. <gülüyor> Bencilsin, kincisin, alaycısın. İşte asıl suçum bu. <gülüyor> Andre Apse for directing goes to... Oh, I love this one. Nuri Bilge Ceylan for Winter Sleep. Produced by Zeynep Uzbetua Artikan. Co-produced by Alexandra Melegi and Mustafa Dock. Written by Nuri Bilgay Jela and Ebru Jela. Here to accept the award on behalf of director Nuri Bilgay Jela okay. is producer Zeynep Ozbatua Atakar. Um, on behalf of Nuri Bilgay Jela, uh, thank you, dear jury, also APSA, and up. Uh, Asia Pacific Screen Awards Committee to organize this um, extraordinary event. Thank you very much. Well, let's see a clip from the winning film. <laughs> The heart and soul of APSA is cinematic excellence and films that express their cultural origin, hence our involvement with UNESCO. Let's hear now from UNESCO's Director General, Irana Bokova, from UNESCO's headquarters in Paris, in France. The Asia Pacific Screen Awards attended the debate in Paris. Their idea of a major film award to promote the objectives of the Universal Declaration was accepted by UNESCO as was launched in Queensland six years later. I believe that this story embodies the idea expressed in the UNESCO Constitution that the wide diffusion of culture and the education for humanity, for justice and liberty and peace are indispensable to human dignity and constitute a sacred duty which all the nations must fulfill in a spirit of mutual assistance and concern. Film is a most privileged way by which ideas, values and knowledge about the human condition can be expressed and shared widely. Film is more than an art form. It is a platform for social transformation. And this is why we must support all filmmakers who help us think deeper and dream bigger as individuals, as citizens. The Asia Pacific Screen Awards celebrate films from countries across the region and from many categories to encourage dialogue between cultures and to deepen exchanges 
for greater respect and mutual understanding. Now, in its eighth year, I wish to congratulate the Brisbane City Council for supporting the awards and all its efforts to nurture and highlight cultural diversity for the benefit of all. I thank all those involved in acclaiming films from the Asia-Pacific region for their contribution to sharing the wealth of all humanity. Please welcome Australian, Australian screen icon and APSA Academy president, Old Man Jack Thompson AM, to present the eighth annual APSA UNESCO award. AM? I'd vote for him for PM, I reckon. <laughs> Uncle Jack Thompson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tonight's nominees and, and winners uh, don't just receive a claim for their outstanding work in 2014. They're also inducted into the Asia Pacific Screen Academy, uh, a prestigious group of uh, more than 700 representing a quite breathtaking array of talent and, and passion for an industry that uh, brings so much joy to so many people. I'm proud to have been involved with the Academy since its inception. Thank you, Des. Tonight, it is a formidable collegial group of some of the best writers, directors, the producers, and of course, actors and actresses from the Asia Pacific. The Academy is itself modeled on the American Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which was formed 77 years ago this year. And it seeks to reinforce the prestige that is inherent in being nominated for an Asia Pacific Screen Award in a region representing more ethnic populations, languages, and history than any other area in the world. The members of our academy will hold their own, I'm certain, anywhere on the planet. They provide a powerful reminder of just how far the abscess have come in eight years, as you have seen this evening, and the important role these awards have played in providing some of the industry's great talent a voice and a platform. It is also my pleasure tonight to announce the winner of the UNESCO Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Promotion and Preservation of cultural diversity through film. I, of course, know who the winner is. I, of course, have seen this film. It is an extraordinary film. It gives an extraordinary voice to people who are at the heart of our everyday concern. The winner, Memories on Stone from Iraqi Kurdistan. Produced by Mehmet Akis, directed by Shaukat Armin Korpi, written by Shaukat Armin Korpi and Mehmet Akis. Please welcome director Shaukat Armin Korpi to the stage to accept the award. Beautiful. It's a great honor to receive this award. I would like to thank uh, Asia Pacific Screen Awards and the jury. Uh, I would like to dedicate this award to uh, my people in Kurdistan, which are in a new 
tragic, bloody situation with ISIS. Uh, and also I would like to dedicate this hour to the memory of uh, my friend Taha Karimi, the director of 1001 Apple, who did uh, many good films about Anfal, the big genocide of Kurdistan. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at a clip from the winning film. Sinur Khan, I'm a jury. Who made the film? I'm a sword. Why should I am a bomb? When they were busy, they cut one to one. A bit of simam to one. I'm carrying a kit. What do you think about the boss? I'm sure it's a matter of money. Is she my cinema? No. She made such a shiny video. I was trying to let them make it. فعلی چی؟ من خوب حذف کنم برو من آو فیلم. چی تلم دویی و؟ بیاری. The Absa Jury Grand Prize is an important part of the Absas, recognizing particularly notable contributions to film in 2014. Here to present the Jury Grand Prize is Absa International Jury members from Poland, Maciej Stuhl. Dobry wieczór Państwu. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. When I came and joined the jury, we all suddenly realized that Poland is not in Asia. <laughs> but there was nothing we could do, it was too late. So, uh, on this occasion, I would like to say warmest greetings from the European Film Academy to all Asia Pacific filmmakers. <laughs> I'm very honored to present two jury grant prizes tonight. And if we were wrong, let the lightning strike me. <laughs> the first winner of jury grant prize for opening our eyes to the issues that we were blind to. From People's Republic of China and France, blind massage. Produced by Nai An, Li Lin, Christina Larson, and Wong Yang. Directed by Wo Ye. Written by Ma Yingli. Here to accept the award on behalf of the producers is cinematographer Zhang Jia. Thank you. Okay, I, I'm DP of this film, and uh, uh, I speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> 呃，推拿是一部关于看不见的电影，呃，在中国它却成成为了一部真正看不见的电影。The film、uh, Blind and Masseuse is actually for the invisible world of the blind people。呃呃，电影院觉得呃，推拿不是一部可以挣钱的电影，所以呃。他给观众都没有机会去看到这部电影，呃，现现在只有一些很少的电影院在放这部电影。In fact, the film has become really an invisible film in China, because many cinemas think they cannot make money out of this film, so not many audiences actually have the opportunity to watch the movie because not many uh, cinemas actually screening the film. Uh, uh, 艺, 我想, 我想在全世界的范围里头, 都会有这样的困境, 我想在座很多人也会有相同的经历和我们推拿一样。Perhaps many other artistic films will share the same experience and hardships. Uh, 如果, uh, 
变得暗淡无光。If there is no artistic films in this world, in my eyes, the spirit of the screen industry will become fade away. Will become invisible too. 呃，谢谢燕呃电影节，谢谢所有的评委，谢谢，谢谢你们对推拿的支持。I also want to say thank you to EPSA jury for your support for the artistic films and for. Blind Masseuse, thank you. Okay, now let's have a look at the um, clip from this winning film. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second jury grand prize for the profound, honest, and deep observation of the human condition in Iran. The prize goes to director Rakshan Banitemat from Islamic Republic of Iran for Tales. Directed and produced by Rakshan Banitemat. Written by Rakshan Bani Yetamord and Farid Mostafa. Please welcome Rakshan Bani Yetamord to the stage to accept the award. I'm honored to receive this great award. I would say to thank jury members, thanks to my devoted cast and crew, and uh, a special thanks to APSO. I would like to uh, say some uh, few uh, words in my native language. باید تشکر ویژه بکنم از استرالیا به دلیل حمایت بینظیرش از سینماگران هفتاد کشور در حوزه آسیا و پاسیفیک. I would like to deliver my great appreciation to Australia for supporting uh, filmmaker and cinematic people in Asia Pacific region, a region consists of 70 countries. And I want to thank you for the peace and peace in the world. And I would like to deliver also my wish to the everlasting peace in the whole world and in this current situation, global situation of chaos and crisis. And I would like to ask that the young people who are after me will be a leader of love and a leader of love. I also wish to, to the young generation of filmmakers to narrate the love and peace in their works. Thank you again. Thank you a lot. Congratulations to the winner and the thank you again. Well, now let's have a look at a clip from this winning film.
I would like to welcome Jing Ulrich back to the stage to make a special presentation. In 2008, the APSA for Best Performance was awarded to an outstanding actress. For one reason or another, that actress never received her award, Australia Post. <laughs> Tonight, all these years later, we would like to present her with that award. You've already met her tonight. She's one of Palestine's most acclaimed actresses for her winning performance in The Lemon Tree. Please welcome to the stage, Hiam Abbas. the one or there was another one, no? <laughs> wow, thank you ever, ever, ever so much. Really, it's a great surprise. I prefer to act rather than to get prizes or awards. It's just like, wow. Ah, oh, okay. Can I go? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I going to make the pictures as well, like everybody else? Talking to you, Maxime. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I am really so happy to get this, and I am sorry not to have had the time to come to get it at that time. I hope they will send me the other one too. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much, and I will see you next year, I hope. Bye. Thank you. Congratulations, Hiam. Finally, you have that award you deserve. Beautiful. Australia Post. I should leave them alone, shouldn't I? Next, we have another piece of entertainment with a truly international flavour. Orchid New Music was formed in 2009 to showcase the musical art of Chinese classical music fused with modern lyric and rhythms. Orchid New Music was founded by Minnie Shen, the lead artist, and the dance you will see tonight highlights the delicate, dynamic and graceful movements set against constantly changing rhythm. The royal dance has five different outfits from different dynasties from ancient China. Please welcome Orchid New Music.
Tonight marks the fifth APSA ceremony he has attended. He is a renowned writer, director, and a producer, and one of the few filmmakers to receive APSA nominations for three different films across the seven-year history of the APSAs. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome again to the APSAs, Mr. Fahadi. I'm honored to have uh, lead the jury of this year's Asia Pacific Screen Awards to for watch uh, standing quality of the nominated films. I wish good luck for all of the nominees. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Fahardi, I think now you should stay with me to present this very special award, right? Yes. So uh, maybe we can see the nominees. Who are they, and who will be the last winners? From Islamic Republic of Iran, I'm not angry. An incendiary social drama from a phenomenal new filmmaking talent that charts the rage of a young man buffeted by the restraints of his daily life in contemporary Tehran. Nabit Pasho, Sedaromade. From the Russian Federation, Leviathan. A grand sweeping drama and searing critique of local government corruption and intimidation set in a remote desolate seaside village. From Iraqi Kurdistan, Memories on Stone, a timely and insightful examination of turbulent contemporary Kurdistan from the perspective of two tenacious filmmakers shooting a film in a notorious prison. <laughs> from Kazakhstan, Central Asia, The Owners, a mesmerizing and bleakly comic tale of small town corruption from a spirited and original filmmaking voice, visually inspired by the works of Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> From Turkey, France, Germany, Winter Sleep, a microscopic character study and penetrating moral tale from the multi-APSA winning creative team of Nuri Bilge Ceylan and Zeynep Uzbatua Atakan, winner of the 2014 Cannes Palme d'Or. So, the best film goes to Leviathan from the Russian Federation. Produced by Alexander Rodnyansky and Sergei Melkin. Co-produced by Mariana Sadorova. Written and directed by Andrei Zviakinsev. Here to accept the award on behalf of the producers is Honorary Consul General of the Russian Federation, Irina Brook. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor and pleasure to accept this award on behalf of filmmakers. Unfortunately, they are not able to be with us tonight. However, as the director of the film, Andreas Vagensov sent his video message. Thank you so much. Добрый вечер. Приветствую всех собравшихся в этом зале. Очень сожалею, что не могу сам лично получить эту награду, эту высокую награду лично в руки. К моему сожалению, ни разу не был в Австралии. Была, был прекрасный повод, но, к сожалению, нет никакой возможности. Я очень, благо, очень благодарен всем членам жюри, которые проголосовали за нашу картину, за столь высокую оценку нашей картины. Спасибо вам огромное и всем всего доброго. До свидания. Пока. Okay, now let's have a look at the winning film.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us tonight at the 8th Annual Asia Pacific Awards. We have very much enjoyed being your hosts tonight, and we congratulate all those who have won APSAS, the Asia Pacific's highest honor in film. Although the world's population speaks more than 6,500 languages, the language of film is universal. It unites you and me. It unites us all. So thank you so much for coming. It's been a great pleasure to share this event, event with you, all of you, and especially with you, Aaron. Thank you, Lei. It's been a great pleasure to be part of the APSA family and to share the stage with you tonight. Mm -hmm. And now, please enjoy this closing montage of amazing films from eight years of the Asia-Pacific Screen Awards. Enjoy.